Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber and today I'm going to do a tanning video and I've been wanting to do this video for a long time because I love to tan. I've been self tanning since I was about 15 and um, the first ever tanners I used were like the gradual moisturising ones. I remember back then that was when Dove and Garnier brought out their gradual tanners. And when I was younger or now still I'm very very pale and living in Scotland I think has something to do with it but also my genes my skin just does not tan and now that I'm older and wiser I know that tanning isn't good for you and going on the sunbeds isn't good for you but it's still nice to be able to um, rock a tan so what I do is I fake tan and it's much better than sitting out in the sun. So I have been tanning ever since I was 15 and over the years I have definitely picked up some tips and tricks so this would be really good for you if you're new to tanning or you might not know about some of these tips so I just thought it'd be quite fun to share them. So my first tip would be to prep your skin and what I like to do is I like to do a full body scrub a couple of days before I know I'm going to want my tan. So a couple of scrubs that I really like is, this one is by um, Soap and Glory and it's their Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub with Oat, Sugar and Shea and this one is just divine. It smells like pancakes, it smells like um, like maple syrup and um, this one has, I think it has sugar and sea salt in it. I find the scrubs with, that have sea salt are more kind of scrubby um, and the ones with sugar are okay but they're not as good as the ones with the sea salt but this has both in it and it's really lovely and moisturising and smoothing as well so that's a good one. And then I also really like the Sanctuary, you can get this in Boots, um, Sanctuary Spa Salt Scrub and this one is just a salt scrub but it has like the some oil in it as well so it really moisturises your skin and leaves it feeling really soft and this one is just like the best scrub I've found. And I've tried quite a few scrubs but this one definitely is the best. Um, but these both are really lovely options. Um, you can as well make my own scrub and I just take some um, brown sugar and some sweet almond oil which you can get from, I, I get mine from Holland and Barrett, it's a bit fluff there. Um, I get mine from Holland and Barrett but you can also get it online and then I just mix the sugar with the al sweet almond oil and you can put like an essence or something to make it smell nice and that's a really good cheap option as well and it's really nice and scrubby. I would use my scrub say on the Wednesday and then after I've scrubbed and I've come out the shower or the bath I would use a moisturiser and the one I really like at the moment is the Righteous Butter body lotion and this one's by Soap and Glory and this one is ideal for if you're tanning because it's not really thick so it's going to be absorbed really easily and won't leave like a film or anything like that. So yeah you would want to start exfoliating your skin and then I would come out the shower and do a moisturiser and I would do that for a couple of days just so my skin is really really smooth and it's getting off all the dead skin cells and especially concentrate on areas like your elbows and your knees kind of like in here um, just where your arm kind of meets your shoulder your armpit sort of area these are the areas where kind of tan can gather so you want to make sure you get rid of all the dead skin there and it's nice and smooth and also like around the wrist. So once you've prepped your skin and you've exfoliated for a couple of days you want to go on to tanning and I'm going to talk about tanners but basically I've been using the same tan since I was like 15. So as I say I started off using the gradual tanners which are a good place to start if you're new because it just gives you a light tan and you can build it up to the colour that you want. So it's quite good if you don't maybe want to go straight in with a really dark tan like oh god this really looks too much on me um, but one that I really like and I've went through so many bottles I can't even count um, is the Zen Tan and this is the regular dark lotion. I think this is the first one they ever brought out. They do have a few. They have the, the Absolute Luxe which is a bit more expensive and I actually do prefer this one. This one's really good because it moisturises my skin. I think it has argan oil in it and my skin really likes it especially on my face. So we do actually use this on my face and my body as well. I love the colour of this. It has olive undertones. You can actually see like the green sort of tinge to it when you apply it, which sounds really odd, but that's what stops it from going orange. And it's not too dark on me, even though it's called the dark lotion. This actually looks just, you know, like I've went a shade up. And I do apply thin layers of this to build it up. So what I would do is I would do my scrub 
are my moisturiser on Wednesday night, my scrub and my moisturise on Thursday night and then on Thursday night after I scrubbed and moisturised I would then a couple of hours later apply my tan and that would be my other tip would be to allow your moisturiser to sink in before you apply your tan and that just makes sure that your skin absorbs the tan and it doesn't just sit on the surface. Now I actually do have specific ways that I apply my tan, <laughs> seems like I'm really regimented with it. What I do is I, I, if I'm doing a full body tan which I don't always do if I'm going to have my legs out I would tan my legs but if I'm not I would just do like an upper body tan on the areas that are going to be showing like my arms and my chest. A great tip when you're applying your tan I found is to concentrate on the areas where the sun would naturally hit your skin so for example on your arms I would apply the tan kind of mainly I would start on the kind of upper surface of my arms and I would work it in like this. And then only when the tan's kind of mostly absorbed on those areas will I then take it under the arm. Because under here, you're lighter than you are on top. And I just think that that stops it from looking fake and it just looks more natural that way. And then I also do that like on my chest, I kind of concentrate more on here because you would be lighter in your neck, you'd be darker here if the sun was actually tanning you. So I do this area first and then what's left on my hand I take up my neck. And it also makes sure to get the back of your neck. That would be a really good way for people to tell that it's fake is if you don't, you know, apply tan on the back of your body. So um, I always take it, you know, up the back of the neck into the hairline don't worry it won't stain your hair or anything like that and then if you have um, a friend or your partner that can maybe apply it onto your back for you it's sometimes it's a bit difficult to kind of get there then that just makes it look most natural. Once I've applied my tan I find that it really really helps to go over any areas where you think might show up darker or that might streak with a moisturiser just a light moisturiser and this just dilutes the tan down and makes sure that it doesn't look patchy or anything like that and areas that I'm talking about would be like your elbows and your knees and I always do like the insides of my arms because sometimes you can get a little streak in here I don't know what it is about this area but um, sometimes it can go a little bit funny so I actually just use Diprobase which is a, it's a medical cream I get for like eczema and things but it's just like E45 and I just take a small amount of this and I'll put it on my elbows and maybe in here as well as well where um, you can and sometimes get a bit patchy. I also apply it around my wrist and when I've done my tan the best way to get it off your hands because they will be dark dark brown and you'll be like oh my god. Now some people like to use a mitt personally I don't. I find that I get less streaks when I use my hands so once I've applied it the best way to get it off and so you don't have any orange hands is to use kind of warm to hot water and bar soap. Now bar soap is more concentrated than like hand wash so if you try and use it with hand wash it won't come off you have to use bar soap and I just wash it a few times until the water runs clear and it's completely gone off my hands and then once I've dried my hands I then take a little bit of tissue or cotton wool and put a bit of tan on the tissue and then I'll just do the tops of my hands because it can look really odd if you've done a tan and you haven't tanned your hands and then you have like lovely tan skin and then just white hands it doesn't look look right and then people will be able to tell that it's fake so that's another area where it's good to um, make sure that you don't miss so my I think I must be on like my fourth or fifth tip I can't remember um, but my fourth tip I think would be to gradually layer your tan up so it's much better I think to apply a couple of thin layers than just one thick layer because it, it's more likely to go streaky or patchy and you can build it up you could do it you know two or three nights I normally just do it twice and that's enough for me in the title of this video I did say I had a secret tip now this is a complete fluke on how I came about this um, but it's actually coconut oil and if you don't know about coconut oil, you can actually use this on your body as a moisturiser. I'd never used it before I was tanning. I just didn't think the tan would take very well to being on top of an oil. But there was one night where I'd forgotten I was going to be tanning and I'd applied my coconut oil. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just apply it and see how it turns out. And it was just amazing. I don't know, it just made my tan go on so smoothly and it was absorbed really quickly. I had no streaks at all and it was just like the perfect perfect tan and it took less time as well and I don't know why I don't know what what's making it better to apply and I was like maybe it's just a fluke so I did actually try it I've been doing it ever since with the coconut oil and it just makes the whole process 
so much nicer and quicker and definitely less streaks. So yeah, I would definitely recommend to try the coconut oil because it really, really worked for me. And I was actually like, oh, I can't believe how easy that was and my tan looks amazing. And it lasted a long time as well. That's the other thing with the Zen Tan is that it does last, it says on it a weekly self tan, but for me, the color doesn't last a week. Um, this tan kind of fades really, really naturally. It doesn't go patchy at all. I've never had any problems with it, but the color definitely doesn't last as long as some of the other ones. But I feel like if you want your tan to look natural and you want it to fade naturally, then, um, you know, you're going to have to give up the staying power of it because um, I've tried other tans like Santa Pay, which I know a lot of people love and that one for me was just too orange. I think because I'm so pale it just didn't suit my skin at all and it went really patchy on me, especially around my arms. Um, I've also tried Sienna X, which again was just slightly too orange, but that was a lovely tan. If you're maybe darker, that'd be a good one. And it did last a, a bit longer than the Zen Tan, which was a plus, but I do prefer the colour of the Zen Tan. Um, it's just the staying power isn't 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 great. So um, you maybe get about three days, three or four days out of your tan, but it's so easy to apply that I really just don't mind I forgot to mention as well, this is a tan that you would apply and then wash off. So I apply it in the evening and then I sleep in it okay. But you can actually wash it off after, I think it's three hours, you can actually wash this off. And then my last tip would be to enhance your tan. These are just some bronzers that I like to use once I've had a tan. And you can use them to kind of highlight the areas on your face where the sun would naturally hit. So on top of your head, on top of your cheeks on your nose and your chin and it just stops it from looking so flat and I've got three bronzers that I really like the first one is a cream bronzer and this one is by Chanel and it's their bronze universal it's this one isn't cheap it's kind of more on the higher end of the price tag but it's just lovely and gives the most natural color and you can build it up really easily and it's just a great one for summer because it's a cream formula if you want something with a bit of shimmer, I really like the Dior bronzer and this one is in the colour Honey Tan 002. This one has a slight shimmer to it but it's not too shimmery and just looks really really pretty when it catches the light and I really like this one for doing an all over kind of bronzy uh, tanned kind of look. If you prefer a matte colour, I'm really enjoying the Body Shop bronzer at the moment. This is their it just says bronzing powder and I've got the shade medium 03 and the good thing about this bronzer is it comes in four different shades so if you're really really pale um, they do 01 and 02 would be perfect and it just makes your skin look really lovely this one um, it kind of blurs out imperfections I really really like it and um, the medium 03 is kind of the perfect color for me I am wearing that just now I like to use this one to kind of shape my face as well so I, I use it in the classic kind of three um, shape so forehead chin and then um chin forehead cheek and then chin and the same on the other side and um, what i would say about the bronzer is, is don't forget to take it down the neck i use a big big brush i think the one i've got is a real techniques brush which is great for bronzer don't forget to take it down your neck this is really important because it will just look um fake if you apply it on your face and you miss out your neck so i think that's all of my tips um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps some of you who are new to tanning or there's some tips in there that you didn't know about. If you enjoyed the video then um, please subscribe and I will be making more videos like this in the future and yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you next time. Bye! Do you like my pretty flower in my hair? I got this from H&M and I actually wore it in my hair for my mum's wedding and I think it looks really boho -y. I went for the boho kind of look today. Um, I've just used the Lustrum Numi hair um, tong. I used like the one that looks like lots of little bubbles and it made my hair like really like boho wavy and I really like it. Um, and it really goes with this like boho top. I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Phone. <laughs>